If you want to grind raiding as fast and easy as possible, then you're in luck. Because today, we will be telling you all about the best 2v2 comps for every spec in Cataclysm. And that even includes you, Resto Druids. Hey, don't be sad. Because remember, every class is included in our 400 rating gain guarantee at skillcap.com. The service that offers hundreds of guides at your fingertips has leveled up with a brand new add-on that you can download right now on our website. And with the click of a button, you can get a complete UI ready for Kata and the next retail expansion. So while you're learning how to master your class step by step, you can do so with one of the best UIs ever for PvP. One subscription covers every game on our website. So to get the rank or rating you deserve, check out the exclusive discount link below. By now, you probably know that Frost DK isn't the best spec in the game, but it's definitely far from the worst. If you're playing 2v2, then your best bet is pairing with a Holy Paladin, since you're going to need that Hodge for your Pillar of Frost. You could definitely try playing with other healers, but why would you? I mean, look at how those cooldowns line up. Unholy is no different, but since you have way more consistent pressure, you have the option of playing with a Resto Shaman too. With that said, DK Pally is a bane for many double DPS comps. Together, you're basically a wall of cooldowns and immunities designed specifically to stop double DPS in their tracks by pressing that W key and Terminator walking toward them with unhealable damage. Unholy DKs are also the bane of many healers since their pressure is so insanely difficult to deal with during cooldowns, especially when Necrotic Strike is stacked high, and when Glyft, Strangulate can silence for up to 7 seconds. Once you add a stun into the mix, it's basically lights out unless properly peeled. Now let's talk druids. Unfortunately, Boomy really isn't cut out for 2v2, but there are two different routes you can take. You can go the healer DPS route and pair up with a Holy Paladin for a bit more control with stun setups, or you can take a much different approach with double DPS. The problem with Boomkin is that its whole niche is doing massive spread pressure over a long period of time, and there really aren't many DPS partners who can help you do that without dying. Which then means playing with either a sub rogue and trying to win in two smoke bombs, or instead playing with a ret paladin and trying to blast with cooldowns while holding each other's hybrid hands. Now, if there's one contestant for king of 2v2, it's definitely Feral Druid. I mean, come on, it's arguably the best melee in the entire game, and you already know 2v2 is a melee fiesta. If you want to play with a healer, then Disc Priest is your best bet, but both Resto Shaman and Holy Paladin work too. Between Pain Suppression, Dome, Survival Instincts, Bark Skin, Cyclone, and more, Disc Priest Feral is one of those comps that Double DPS will absolutely dread facing. Just like DK Pally, you are a wall of cooldowns designed to survive through an apocalypse. You can also take a different route and pair with a Hunter, giving you one of the best Double DPS setups in the game. Having a Hunter on your team gives you a one-two punch of Burst and CC in the opener, which is a massive execution test for any healer. As far as Resto Druid is concerned, your best 2v2 partner is the one who will actually play with you. All jokes aside, Druid has a wide array of possible 2v2 options, working well with both melee and casters thanks to having good control and multiple stun options. Taking the caster route means playing a more involved role with your partner, helping your fire mage or affliction warlock set up damage with your stuns, and then collectively controlling the pace of the game with CC. When playing with a brawler melee like DK or Arms Warrior, you can afford to play more passive, letting them do most of the work for you. This leaves Sub Rogue somewhere in the middle, where you want to help support their setups when needed, but focus on efficiency in between. Now if there's one class that is a bit backwards compared to retail when it comes to 2v2 comp selection, it's definitely Hunter as your best comps are actually with another DPS. Pairing it with either a Sub Rogue or Feral Druid is going to give you one of the most explosive threats in the game, having an onslaught of bursts in CC designed to win the game in the opener. Thanks to readiness, Hunter comps can play insanely aggressive in the opener with their CDs and can even back-to-back -back Rapid Fire and Chimera shot for massive pressure. Now, if you really wanted to, you could pair up with a Disc Priest for some much slower games. This is going to give you some much-needed CC synergy since Fear doesn't DR with Trap. On top of this, the damage offered by Disc will be useful for closing out games, but keep in mind that this comp might struggle hard into high tier healer DPS setups. Now, despite being another S tier range DPS, Fire Mage is a bit more strict when it comes to 2v2 comp selection. Even though Combustion is definitely one of the scariest burst cooldowns in the game, it does require a bit more setup and is quite RNG dependent. Because of this, your best bet is going to be playing with a healer, either taking the damage route and pairing with a Disc Priest, or using the control of a Holy Paladin to set up kills. 
because of Frost's punchier damage profile, it has a bit more flexibility with comp selection in 2v2, having what might be the best overall double DPS option in Cataclysm with Rogue Mage. Rogue Mage is one of the scariest openers in the entire game thanks to the sheer amount of burst and control offered by both classes. Typically, this comp aims to burn multiple defensives in the opener and then reset the fight before going in again, repeating this process over and over until nothing is left. <sighs> Some things never change, do they? Anyway, Frost Mage can also play with healers, and Disc Priest is the preferred option. This comp also relies heavily on control and doing repeated setups using Deep Freeze. Your games are obviously going to be longer playing this comp, but the sheer amount of control offered by the mage gives the composition a lot of power in dictating tempo. Alright, next up we have our two Paladin specs, with Holy already being mentioned a few times on this list. Holy Pallies pair best with the brawling archetype of melee DPS, and playing with an unholy DK, Feral Druid, or Arms Warrior is recommended if you want to push. These comps revolve entirely around attrition. They're not looking for long CC chains to secure kills, but instead to gradually overwhelm their opponents with raw damage. The reason Paladins work best with Brawler melee DPS is not only because of utility like Hand of Freedom and CC support from Hammer of Justice, but also because their wall of healing cooldowns is what enables their partners to keep up pressure and stay alive until the next set of offensives. Holy Pallies are the healers that want you to press W all game, which is perfect for comps whose win condition is, well, pressing W. On the other hand, Rhett Paladin definitely does not win by long drawn out attrition. As one of the melee lacking immortal strike effect, Rhett's need to find other ways to close out games, which generally means playing with another punchy DPS. Hunters, DKs, and Rogues are their best options as these classes not only offer healing reduction debuffs, but also have synergistic CC which can be chained together to overwhelm the enemy healer. Rhett Paladins also bring some powerful off healing in arena thanks to the combination of Last Word and Selfless Healer which, when combined, turn Word of Glory into a lay on hands when used on another player. So, with great healing, burst, and utility, Rets work perfectly in double DPS setups. Moving on, we have our two Priest specs, with Disc already getting a few mentions throughout this video. While it's definitely possible to pair with virtually any DPS, playing with a Sub Rogue or Feral Druid is by far the best. These two melee offer enormous control and great burst damage, which synergizes perfectly with the Disc Priest toolkit. As the most offensive healer in the game with the highest possible damage output, Disc Priest can actually play a pseudo support role in the bracket by assisting their teammates with kills and having the control of a rogue or feral is going to allow you to cast those sweet mind spikes. Unfortunately, Shadow Priest is one of the weaker DPS specs in 2v2 in early kata, and just like Fire Mage, their damage is a relatively long ramp, which can make it difficult to play fast-paced double DPS comps. As a safe pick, pairing with a Holy Paladin is likely your best bet, as it's going to give you the ability to cross CC with stuns and silences quite effectively. Now, if you really wanted to play double DPS, you could go the CC route and pair up with a Frost Mage or Sub Rogue, looking to end games in a setup or two. Otherwise, you could look to the old faithful Rhett Paladin to try and squeeze out wins. Now, if there's one possible contender for King of 2v2, it's definitely Sub Rogue, who can take two different paths for S tier compositions. While it's definitely possible to play with any healer, a Disc Priest is going to be your best bet in the early expansion, as the cross CC potential from stuns and fears enables deadly setups on enemy players. In the late expansion, with access to broken PvE gear and legendary daggers, you might see more rogues shift over to playing with Resto Shamans, since Shadow Dance damage is high enough to solo without any offensive support. The other route you can take as a sub rogue is playing double DPS with either a Frost Mage or Marks Hunter. As we've already mentioned, these comps are going to give you the scariest openers in the entire game, and it's quite possible to win in the opening exchange if the enemy team doesn't properly trade cooldowns. Regardless of the route you take, sub rogues are one crucial part of some of the hardest execution tests for enemy players in Cataclysm Arena. Moving on to our shaman specs, we will start with Elemental, who is definitely an off-meta DPS with some obscure 2v2 comps. While it might seem completely out of left field, your best bet when playing with a healer might actually be pairing with a Resto Druid. As an Ellie, you're going to be trained all game while trying to fish for Elemental Mastery setups with Lava Burst and Fulmination. So in order to make a win happen against any team with a healing button, you're definitely going to need a stun to keep someone in place, while also wanting some cross CC, which is where a Resto Druid or a Holy Paladin comes into play. Alternatively, you can play with the DPS versions of these classes, since they will also give you that much needed stun and hybrid support. Enhancement Shaman is another off-meta pick for 2v2, and as another melee that lacks Immortal Strike, it's not really cut out for playing with a healer. Instead, you're going to want to pair with another melee who can press W with you and aim to win in under a minute. 
Ret Paladins and Unholy DKs are likely your best options, as these two DPS have enough pressure to solo healers while you assist with damage and utility. As the best overall healer in the game, Restoration Shaman definitely has a few options when it comes to 2v2. What's important to remember is that while Resto Shamans don't really contribute with damage, they have the best damage buffs for any of their partners, especially with Strength of Earth Totem, which provides a massive main stat buff to melee. When these damage buffs are paired with the best healing output in the game and offensive support from purges and wind shears, shamans have a wide variety of comp options for 2v2, relying on the attrition of affliction warlocks, unholy DKs, feral druids, or even sub rogues to gradually tear down at the other healer's mana. Speaking of warlock, affliction will work best when playing with a resto shaman. As the DPS, whose damage profile is built around gradually wearing down at the enemy team's HP, you're going to want a healer that helps you maximize your damage in very long games. It's important to remember that Warlocks not only take less damage with Soul Link, but also take more healing thanks to Demon Armor. When this is combined with the endless amount of passive healing done by Restoration Shamans, you have a match made in heaven. Keep in mind that while Lock Shaman might be your best comp option, it's going to include some very long games. Without a punchy damage profile, you really need to be ready for some sweaty matchups, especially considering there's no dampening in Kata. Lastly, but certainly not least, Arms Warrior is a heavy hitter in the 2v2 bracket for Season 9. If you're coming from Wrath, you are in luck because the iconic Warrior-Holy Paladin combo returns again in Cataclysm as your best comp. Once again, playing with a wall of cooldowns enables you to press that W key with more brute force and gradually wear down enemy healers. While Pally Warrior will not be as good into double DPS compared to DK Pally, it's still going to be a formidable test in Season 9 where Warrior damage is disproportionately high. Alright guys, that about wraps it up for this one. Before you go, be sure to check out Skillcap. We are the only service that dares to literally guarantee you'll climb at least 400 plus rating while actively using our service. And if you don't, you don't pay. Simple as that. As always though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.